Um, we're going to get started on today's lesson so we don't waste too much time. We're going to be reviewing algebraic expressions. And I do understand that everybody's already kind of done with exams. But remember, all of the stuff that we're doing now is going to come up in your November exam as well. So we can't lose sight of what we're doing right now. It's very common. It's going to come up again and again and again. All right. No worries, no Mathubi. Excellent. Now, for you, for those of you who are who are wondering, okay. Oh, some people are still writing tomorrow. Apiwa was writing paper one tomorrow. Apiwa, you came to the right class. We're going to help you. Um, we're going to help you revise for paper. I mean, for question one and question two. Oh, Sia, I love to hear it. I love to hear it. Awesome. All right. So we're going to start with simplify. All right. Let's start with simplify, guys. And remember, when we see the expression simplify, basically what they mean is take away the brackets. It means take away the brackets. And how do we take away the brackets? We multiply whatever's on the outside with whatever's on the inside. All right. And I know you guys know how to do this. So I'm going to give you guys three minutes. One minute a question. Question one, question two, and question three. Okay. You've got three minutes to answer these questions. When you're done, you can pop your favorite emoji in the chat. Go for it. <laughs> Anna, that's quite the emoji. <laughs> And Anna, that was incredibly fast. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> See, I appreciate that one. All right, I'm seeing quite a few interesting emojis. Awabakwe, what kind of emoji are we seeing at the moment? My word. <laughs> Amelda with the hospital bed. Loving them. Loving these emojis. <laughs> nice one, Anam. 30 more seconds, guys.
All right, guys, let's get to these answers because I know you guys do know them. I would prefer hands, but if you guys don't feel like hands, um, it's okay. We can just answer the questions together and you can check your answers against mine. All right, so I'm going to multiply these in, right? And I'm going to get 4a cubed b squared minus 3a squared b cubed, right? That's what I'm going to get first. Now, in this next one over here, we'll do a foil. But normally, I don't call it foil. I call it a top, top, bottom, bottom. And I'm going to explain why in just a second. But what I would have gotten over here is 3x times 5x, 15x squared, plus 21bx, minus 10bx, minus 21 b squared. And then I have to add my like terms. So 21 bx minus 10 bx would give me positive 11 bx. So my final answer should be 15 x squared plus 11 bx minus 21. Oh, 14. Why am I saying 21? Sorry, guys, this should be 14. Two times seven is 14. My bad. 14 b squared. Sorry, guys. 14b squared. All right. So, so, sorry, I see. Sorry. Okay. I know. I know. I'm sorry, my sweetie. Yeah. I caught myself. I was testing you. I was testing you to see if you guys are awake. That's, that's how I know if you guys are awake. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Over here, I'm going to do a top times a top times top. And at the bottom, bottom times bottom times bottom. All right. What I should get over here is x cubed plus x squared y plus x y squared. That's the top. And at the bottom, I should get minus x squared y minus x y squared minus y cubed. All right. And what I'm going to notice is that x squared y minus x squared y will be zero. They'll cancel each other out. And x y squared minus x y squared will cancel. And that will get zero over there. So I'll have x cubed minus y cubed left. All right. And that's the answers we get for numbers one, two, and three. In the chat, tell me out of three, a number out of three, how much did you get? OK, one mark for question one. One mark for question two, one mark for question three. Let me know how much you got. And I saw somebody tell me something funny about what their teacher said. My math teacher, my math teacher likes to say that when she makes a mistake, must be a math teacher thing. It is secret because math teachers are never wrong. We are never wrong. <laughs> okay, we are never wrong. <laughs> I said like, I object. <laughs> Thank you, Mirula. Thank you. <laughs> Yes, Jasmine. You can unmute my sweetie. <laughs> okay, I got my chair back. Yes. <laughs> Did, wait, is the chair, is the cat gone now? But this cat is like so fickle. Uh, no, I chased it by my mom. Why would you? It's supposed to join us at Watobi. You can't just chase the cat away. That cat is a, a fundamental part of this class, Jasmine. You do not kick the cat out. We do not chase the cat away. Okay. Um, but it almost chased me away from the computer. <laughs> it's there. <laughs> Oh, Mirilla, that is such a cringe joke. <laughs> cringe a lot. That you is so cringe. You broke it up, my guy. <laughs> it's like, that cat's very meow. Oh, no. No, I refuse it. I refuse it. I can't do it. Ugh, Mirilla, no. Cringe. Agreed. Cringe. Agreed. All right, you guys, let's... Marula. Let's solve for number four. Okay. By the way, Jasmine, since you're here, what do we do with a question like number four if they say simplify? What do we do? Uh, 
to um, separate it out the bracket. Good. How would we do that? Um, to write it twice. Good. That's it. We would write it twice. Excellent. See, it's the it's the brains, it's the smarts, it's the it's the looks. She's got it all. Everybody, class monitor, everyone. Oh, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> love it, love it. Excellent, Vasily. Always lovely to hear from you. Good, Samuel. Samuel. You've got, you've got the right idea, my sweetie. Well done. We expand. And then you can just do another foil, a top, top, bottom, bottom. Oh, yeah. All right. I can see most of you guys are done with the question. So we're quickly just going to do it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. So we're going to get 36A squared minus 12AB minus 12AB plus 4B. Which the final answer will be 36a squared plus. Ooh, no, there's something missing in the middle. Oh, wait, minus 24ab. That's it, minus 24ab, good. And then plus you get. 4b squared. Beautifully done. Amazing stuff. Well done. Excellent stuff. Very well done, Jasmine. Awesome stuff. See, yeah, that's true. And at our school, um, we don't even allow math sets. Um, we don't even allow you to bring your pencil case in anymore. So you're only allowed to come in with like your stuff in like a clear plastic bag or a clear pencil case. We don't allow math sets or, or pencil cases at our school. Give because some people will cheat. <laughs> that's why. Oh, oh, sorry, Anna, no worries. We just did some simple simplification. <laughs> simple simplification. All right, guys, let's talk about factorizing. All right. All right, let's talk about factorizing. Now, there are six different ways that we can possibly factorize, guys. Okay. We can factorize six different ways. It's actually five different ways because two of them are basically the same thing, but we're gonna talk about that in just a little bit. All right, so the first way we always factorize guys is by using the HCF, the highest common factor. We always need to find the highest common factor. Now, I'm going to go as far as to tell you guys that looking for the highest common factor is our default setting. Tell me with a yes or no in the chat, guys. Do we know what a default setting is? Do we know what a default setting is? <laughs> Thank you, teacher Niles. Yes or no? I will ask you, really. Really, I see. Okay, fine. I'll fix my D. Better? Okay, I'm seeing a couple of no's and some yeses. All right, so have you guys ever bought a brand new phone? Ever, ever gotten a brand new phone? Do you know like when you open the phone for the first time and you switch it on, there's no Instagram installed, there's no Facebook installed, there's no TikTok or none of your stuff is on the phone, right? It's like a brand new clean phone, right? The First thing that you see when you open the phone, it's like there's like a Google and, and the ugly wallpaper and all that kind of stuff. That is a default setting. Okay. The way your phone comes to you when it comes out of the box. Okay. Yes. So like the basics, basics, basics of the phone. That's what a default setting is. So it's like the first thing you see when you open your phone is like the phone button and the message button and the Google button. Uh, you see, even Gift agrees with me, the ugly wallpaper. That's, that's what we're calling the uh, HCF. The HCF is always the first thing we look for. First thing to look for. Okay, so when I ask you guys, I'm going to tell you now. Our default setting is HCF. I'm gonna ask you guys again, what is our default setting? 
Tell me in the chat, what is the default setting? Jasmine, what is the default setting? No, I was going to ask a question, but now I forgot. Um, okay. Someone else can what add is something. Yes. Hey, well, Jasmine, where'd you go? Oh, um, okay. Um, yeah. Okay, what is our default setting? Uh, for the sum, right? Mm -mm, not for the sum. What do we look for? What is the default setting that we always look for? We look for? Um, the calculator or? Here it is. I'm going to circle it again. What is our default setting to oh, look for? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, the highest current factor. I, I got yes. lost. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay, my sweetie. Good. The first thing we always, always look for is an HCF. Okay. Always, always, always. All right, when you remember that question, come back to me, my sweetie, okay? Come back when you remember the question. Amukhelam, before you even ask me your question, what is our default setting, Amukhelam? Amukhelam is not unmuting. Mirula? Mia Cat, what's going on? Yes, hi, sorry. No worries. What is my default setting before you even ask or answer a question? My default setting is? ACF. Good. Excellent. All right. <laughs> Was there anything else you wanted to ask or answer? I wanted to answer one of the questions. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I wanted to save the really difficult ones for you, but since you're here, oh. either way, let's... No, no, no. Let's save it. Let's save it. Let's save it. <laughs> okay. Do you want to save it? Okay. Don't put yes. your hand down. Leave your hand up and then we're going to come back to you. Okay. All right. Excellent. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Jasmine, did you remember your question, my sweetie? Uh, yes. Um, I thought you were talking about the calculator, so I thought of uh, saying degree. <laughs> oh, okay. No, 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 not that. We just we just meant what is the default setting when factorizing? We always oh, yeah. start with the HCF. And then okay. I'll the answer next one. Common? Brackets. Good. That's it. Absolutely. Uh, now I feel like you're really stealing my job because I, I only wrote C and now all of a sudden you know the answers. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Don't trust I'm you. not even using my glasses today. <laughs> see, see, I don't, I don't trust you no more. I'm got, I got my eye on you. <laughs> All right, my sweetie, let, let's, let's carry on. All right, guys, now we can talk about the HCF here. I know that the thing that's common is five AB, and if I take five AB out, what I'm going to get left is two AB. I'm lying, it's not even 5AB, it's 5AB squared because B squared is the, is the B with the smallest exponent. So we need to take 5AB squared out. And if I do that, I'm gonna have 2A left plus 3B left over here. Give me a thumbs up if this is the answer that you got. Everybody get this answer for the first one? Good, Asabuya. Nice one, Nzalo. Awesome, Ovayo. That's it, Sikhe. Awesome. All right, let's talk about this next one over here, common bracket. Okay, number two is common bracket. All right, yes, gift. You've already got the correct answer. Awesome stuff. All right, in common bracket, we're going to take out the bracket that is common. What do we see that's common over here? In this expression over here, our common bracket is going to be A plus B. That's it, Funzo, A plus B. Now, if I take A plus B out as the common factor, what do I then get left? What do I have left? Get left. Woo. Good, Mirilla, but not X equals what that's it. Okay, excellent. Good, X plus Y. Good. 
x plus y. Now I want to challenge you guys a little bit. All right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to take a and put that as a minus b. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to make this b minus a. All right. If I had to now factorize this, what would we have to do, Mirula? What would we have to do over here? Which one? Number two, have a look at the common bracket again and tell me uh -huh. how would we factorize What oh, do you think? we just got changed a the sign and got of y. Minus a. Good. We changed the sign of a of y, and then what happens yeah. here? Then it becomes a minus b. Beautiful. We call it a switcheroo. I don't know what you guys call it, but at my school we call it a switcheroo. Ah. So, and okay. x minus y. Beautiful. Okay, I thought that was going to be difficult. Ugh. Okay, no, don't put your hand down. No, I want to trick you somehow. Don't put your hand down. Wait, <laughs> we're coming back. <laughs> we're coming back. Don't go away. <laughs> don't go away. All right, it's a switcheroo, guys. Okay, for those of you who were with teacher Jen last year, this is called a switcheroo. That's, that's when we take the, the first and the last term, we switch them around and we take the thing on the outside and we change its sign. Samuel says it's called a transform. I like that. It makes it sound so, so posh, a transform. I like to hear it. All right, let's look at the next one, guys. The next one that we're going to be talking about is grouping, right? Grouping. And whenever I see four or more terms, whenever I see four or more terms, I must immediately think of grouping. Okay, now remember that the, the four terms, the way that you put them need to have something in common, okay? They all have to have something in common. In this particular one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to group these first two, and then I'm going to group these last two, and I'm going to say here, take out an HCF, that's it, Zama, good. And over here, we're going to take out an HCF. Now, if we look at the first two, what would my HCF between 18H and 45, or, or negative 45 G be? What would my HCF be? Oh, Anam, it's not three. Have a look again. Mm. That's it, Aobakwe and Ovayo and Oguche. Good. My common factor there would be nine. So I'm going to take nine out. If I take nine out, I'm going to have 2H minus 5G. Okay. Plus, what is my common factor over here? In the second one, what is my common factor? Good. I haven't even finished my sentence, but you guys were already there. Good. My common factor is M. So I'm going to take M out, and I'm going to have 2H minus 5G left. And now I am back to common bracket. So grouping and common bracket, same WhatsApp group, same people, same people. So I can then take out my common bracket. So my common bracket is going to be 2H minus 5G. And if I take out my common bracket, what do I have left? 9 plus M. Good. All right, I can see that you guys pretty much know how to do these. I don't think we're doing anything uh, different. And I knew that somebody would say this, because Samuel's already saying, ma'am, I did the opposite 100%. Okay, what we can do, guys, is we can notice, we can notice over here that this term over here and this term over here have G in common. They have G in common. And then this term over here and this term over here have H in common. So we can rearrange our terms so that the things with H's are sitting next to each other and then rearrange so that the things with the G's are sitting next to each other. So I can rewrite this as 2MH plus 18H minus 5MG minus 45 G. 
And then we can do the same thing again, guys. What is my common factor here? What is my highest common factor over there? Um, I'll, I'll take your question in just a second. Okay. I understand what you mean, but uh, I'll take your question in a second. All right. 2H, good. We're going to take 2H out, right? If I take 2H out, I'm going to have M plus 9 left. Right. And then if I look at the next two, what do these two have in common over here? Ooh, not just 5G. Be careful, gift. What is it? It's not 5G, guys. Good, Gideon. That's it. It's not just 5G. It is negative. 5G. They both have a negative in common. They both have a negative in common. So we'll take out negative 5G. And if I take out negative 5G, what do I have left? I'm going to get M plus negative 45 divided by negative 5 will be 9. And the Gs will cancel. Positive 9. Right. So now what is my common bracket, guys? My common bracket is going to be M plus nine, and what I have left is 2H minus 5G. Do you see how we have the same answer? It's just that mine is switched around. Mine has 2H two, two minus 5G first, and then nine plus M, and yours just have has the nine plus M or the M plus nine and two H minus five G first. So it doesn't matter which one we do first, as long as the two things we're taking out have something in common. Okay, and the brackets end up looking the same. We can do either of those. Okay, we can do either of those things. All right, give me a thumbs up if grouping common bracket and HCF makes sense. Okay, always Marula with the five thumbs, always. <laughs> mm. All right, all right, Asi, so I'm just gonna address Asi's question quickly. All right, so Asi, if we had a question like this, um, X of A plus B plus Y of A plus B. Questions like these are usually worth two marks. Okay, so they're not going to belabor it really. We can, we're just going to take out the common factor, which will be A plus B, and we'll have X plus Y left out. Over here, in a question like this, for grouping, we should at least get about three marks. Okay, three marks for grouping and taking out common factors. Okay, so three marks, uh, one mark for that section over there. Oh, sorry, two marks for over here and then one mark for the end. Three marks or maybe four marks, okay. Uh, Gift, what do you mean? Ma'am, why do we no get low marks? Okay, the question isn't making sense. Make the English English for me. Okay, so they'll probably make it three marks or if not, they'll make it four marks. But I can guarantee you, I can guarantee you, they're gonna ask a question that looks like this one first. So they're going to ask a question about the easy common bracket first so that they understand that you know how to do the, um, the, the method. Only after then will they ask a question that looks like this. So that's why it will be less marks because they'll ask an easy question leading up to the hard question. It's called scaffolding, where we put an easy question and then we make it a little bit harder and we make it a little bit harder. Okay, so they won't just like spring it on you. Do this one first. They'll always give you an easy one first. Okay, I hope that makes sense, Asi. Amukhelam, what topic are you on, my sweetie? Because this should have been the first thing you did. <laughs> I'm sorry, Anna. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, my sweetie. All right, next topic that we're going to do is dots. Gee, Nzalo, I wasn't finished. <laughs> Let me finish talking first. <laughs> Let me finish talking. <laughs> okay, dots or difference of two squares. It's okay, well, sweetie. It's okay. I'm just kidding. Don't stress. Don't stress about it. Okay. 
All right, let me ask you guys, this D over here that stands for difference, what does difference actually mean in mathematics? What does difference mean? Jasmine? And then she's gone. Difference means? Good, it means minus. Difference means minus, it means subtract. So if I ever come across something like this, and it has a plus here in the middle, a plus, can I factorize this? Can I factorize this thing? Mm -mm. Absolutely not. We cannot factorize it. It must say, it must have a minus. Okay. That's it. That's it, Anna. That's it, correct. So there must be a minus in between. Now, when I see something like this, guys, I'm going to open up two brackets and I'm going to put a plus in the one and a minus in the other. And then I'm going to take the square root of this side and the square root of that side. The square root of 25x squared is 5x. So I'm gonna put a 5x here and a 5x there. And the square root of four is going to be two and two. Okay, I want you guys to try this one on your own. I want you guys to try 4x squared minus 16. I want you guys to go ahead and factorize that one for me. Jasmine, what's up, my sweetie? Oh, sorry, I muted you by mistake. Unmute. Um, do you get method marks if you put it like in alphabetical order for grouping? Uh, no, not really. Okay, because it doesn't matter which one comes first. Okay, the, the common bracket will still look the same. So the, the method mark really comes from how you group. It's not from which one you put first. Okay, so the method mark will come from grouping these two and then grouping those two and taking out the common factor between them. Okay, it's not about I put this one before the other one. Mm -mm. There's no need for that. I'm writing to Wallet. Like, that's how I got like a oh. challenge. See, you came at the right time. You absolutely came at the right time. Okay. I'm lucky. It's, you know what? I believe so. I believe so. <laughs> okay. Ah, thank you, Teacher Nels. Everybody forgot. For those of you who've already factorized, what is our default setting? Remind me again. What is our default setting? Thank you, Nzalo. Thank you, Sia. Thank you, Agobakwe. Did you guys remember to take out a HCF first? Because I know I tricked you guys. I know I tricked you guys. Oh, except Nzalo. Nzalo figured it out. <laughs> well done. Well done. Awesome stuff. Good. Did we forget to take out our common factor first, guys? <laughs> Aha, Gideon, I knew you would, I knew you would. So you guys, you need to now go back, go back. <laughs> Anna's like, maybe. You guys need to go back and go take out your common factor. Go back and take out your common factor and then do dots. Put the terms in a square bracket. Uh, I'm not sure about a square bracket because the, the brackets are not the same. Okay, not in this case. This is not a perfect square. It's a difference of squares. And I'll show you the difference in just a little bit, Apiwe. Okay, uh, Asavuya, I can tell you that the thing that they have in common is not two. The HCF is not two. The HCF over here is going to be four. And if I take four out, I'm gonna have X squared, minus four left, that's it, good. Only then can I open two brackets, open two brackets, and then X and X, there's a plus and a minus here. And then I'm gonna take the square root of the square root. So that's gonna give me 
two and two. Okay. Okay, Zama, where did I lose you, my sweetie? Because I need to come back and fetch you. Samuel, check your answers. Check your answers. Samuel, go check your answer again. Zama, you need to tell me where, what it is that we've lost you on, okay? Because everything that we're doing at the moment, Gideon, you can, but you still need to take out a, a common bracket. So a question like this is actually worth three marks. Okay, so we're gonna give you a mark for that and a mark for each bracket. But if you do it all in one step, if you just go straight from here, to they will give you your three marks. Okay, so remember uh, Zama, this is the difference of squares. So we must square root both of these from. Okay, uh, Luandile, four is common in both four X squared and negative 16. So we can take four out. Okay, that's where we got the four from. If we take four out as an HCF, we get x squared minus four left. Okay, and Zama, the reason why we're square rooting is because that's common. Yep, gift, absolutely, they will. Because that's, guys, when I tell you, when I tell you that factorization is part of your matric paper, there is factorization in your matric paper. There is solve for X in your matric paper. So it's very important to get it right now. Okay. Oh, that's okay, Luandile. That's okay. Not number five yet. All right. Then number five, what kind of factorization are we looking at at number five, guys? It's a trinomial. Good. It's trinomial. Some of your teachers might call it a quadratic. Okay, same, 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 same. All right, I want everybody to factorize this one and Mirula, while everybody's busy with that one, you need to come factorize this one here at the bottom for me. Unmute. Uh-uh, okay. 2x squared plus 5x minus three, let's go. Okay. Hmm. All right. We do agree that there's no common factor, yes? Yeah. Wait. Good. But we know that it's a trinomial. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. 2x so and x. Open two. Good. We're going to open two brackets and we're going to put 2x in one and x. X. Both of them have right. negative though. Mm, not quite. Uh, They're both negative. Remember, this last thing over here is a negative. So one of them needs to be positive and the other one needs to be Oh, yeah. Positive and negative. We just need to figure out which one is which. I'll show you what to do here, Marula. We, let's find the, the, what are the factors of three, by the way? Only three and one. Good, one and three, good. So we know that somewhere over here, a one and three need to go there, right? So let's start maybe by putting three over here and one over here. Then we're going to multiply, okay? We're just going to multiply yeah. twice. We're just... Two times x, or oh, two times one will give us two x. x. And over here, I'm gonna get three x, uh, three no. times x, which will give us three x. Agreed? Yeah. Good, but because there's a minus, we're gonna to have to minus one of those things. Is that gonna help us? No. No. So we need to switch these numbers around. We just need to put the three here and the one here. Are you with me? Yeah. Okay, so 2x times 3 will give us? 6x. Good, 6x. And 1 times x will give us? X. X. Good. We want a 5x. Which of these need to be negative? The first sign? The first if bracket. We make this, if we make this one negative, that means the 3 will be negative, and we're going to get negative mm. 5. So the first so bracket not, is negative. That's it. Beautiful. So this first bracket will be negative and the next bracket will be positive. positive. Ha. Look at you figuring this thing out without using the cross. Mm. Well done. Okay. It, it takes practice. I'll be honest, but like just props to you, my dude, that was a, that was a difficult question. It normally is. Well done. Uh, 
Okay. Yeah, keep, keep practicing. These are the types of ones that they ask in grade 10 and 11. Yeah, I saw this in my paper. Yeah, <laughs> it's there. It's there. Well done, Mirula. You know, sometimes you're cringe, but most times you're pretty cool, dude. Thank you. <laughs> Very nicely done. Very nicely done. Awesome, guys. All right, let's factorize this little one over here because I know everybody knows how to do this one. This one is pretty, pretty easy. Okay, I'm going to have an X over here, X over there. Gideon is already done. So we know that we're going to have a plus and we're going to have a minus. And we need to find the factors of 30 that will give us seven. We know that's going to be 10 and three, but because this is negative seven, my bigger number must take the negative. So I must get X minus 10 and X plus three. If you wrote X minus 10 and then X plus three, the other way around, it's fine, guys. They're both correct. Okay. They are both correct. All right. If you wrote the X minus 10 first and then the X plus three, that's fine too. All right, let's look at our last duty, last guy. Okay, this is the sum or difference of cubes. Okay, Delaney, where did I lose you, my sweetie? Okay, I'm just gonna show you guys how this one is done. Okay, and then I'm, I'm going to come back to you, Dylan, and you and I can have a conversation. Okay, so I'm going to open a small bracket and I'm going to open a big bracket. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the cube root of a cubed and I'm going to take the cube root of one. The cube root of a cubed is a and the cube root of one is one. So I'm going to have a minus one here. Now, in order to get the other terms, guys, here's what I'm going to do. For the first term, I'm going to take A and I'm going to square it and put it over here. That's going to give me A squared. For the last term, I'm going to take negative one and square it, and that's going to give me positive one. Right. For the middle term, I'm going to do this. I'm going to take A times negative one and that's gonna give me negative A. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the sign. So instead of putting negative A in, I'm going to put positive A in the middle. Okay, I'm gonna show you again with a different example. If I have X squared minus eight, I'm going to open a small bracket and I'm going to open a big bracket. And then I'm going to take the cube root of this number and the cube root of that one. All right, the cube root of, ugh, not x squared, x cubed teacher, Coco. Okay, good. Cubed, I meant cubed, I meant cubed. Okay, <laughs> right. The cube root of x cubed is x, and the cube root of eight is two, with a minus in the middle, right? Then I'm going to go, the first letter x squared over here is going to be x squared. Then I'm going to take negative two squared over there will give me positive four. In the middle, I'm going to take X times negative two will give me negative two X. And instead of putting a negative, I'm going to put a positive. So in the middle, I'm going to have positive two X. Give me a thumbs up if this makes sense. All right. Does how to does. Okay. Excellent. Delaney, can I ask you to put your hand up for me, my sweetie, so you and I can have a bit of a chat. I'm glad most of you guys are seeing it. Here's your next challenge, the one down here. 16 Y squared plus 432. I want you guys to factorize this for me, please. Go for it. I'm a I'm yes, hi, Delaney. How are you doing, my sweetie? I'm good, thanks. How are you, Miss? I'm good, thank you. Yes, Where did I lose you? Miss, at the third trinomial, it's x squared minus 7x minus 30. I'm not quite sure how to do that because I've been struggling with trinomials. That's okay, my sweetie. All right, so we know that it's a trinomial, so we're going to open two brackets, yes? Yes. 
Good. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to note that because there's a negative over here, one of my signs is going to be a negative. Okay. okay. That's the first thing we're going to look at. Then we know that if this sign is a negative, the two signs inside my brackets must be different. Okay. So if this is already a negative, what's the other sign in my bracket going to be? In the other bracket is going to be a Good, it's going to be a positive. Now we're going to take the factors of x squared. We're going to put an x here and an x there. Read? Yes, ma'am. Good. All right. Then we're going to go and look for the factors of 30. Okay, let's look for the factors of 30. I already know that 1 times 30 will give me 30. What else? 15 times 2. Good. 15 and 2. Anything else? 10 and 3. Good. 10 and 3. Mm, and we can also have 6 and 5. Agreed? 6 and 5 as well. Good. All right. Now, I need two pairs of these numbers to minus to give me negative 7. Okay. I already know that 1 minus 30 is not going to work. That's going to give us neg negative 29 or 29. Yes? Yes, but Good. What about 2 and 15? Is that going to give us negative 7? No, no. No. What about 6 and 5? No. No. Okay. We know 2 and 15, 6 and 5 won't work. What about 3 and 7? 3 and 7 won't work. No. Good. Good. I need negative 7. Which of these numbers needs to be negative? Miss, I've lost the again. The three or the 10, one of them needs to be negative. Okay, my I answer needs to be negative seven. It's the, the 10 that needs to be negative. Next. Good, good. The 10 next needs to be negative. So we're going to put a negative here and we're going to put a positive three here. Negative 10 and positive three. Okay. Yes, yes. Are we good with this? Do we, do we see how we do this? Yes, we good, Miss. Thank you so much. Right. You're very welcome, Miss Sweetie. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. As he says, so when it's positive, like x multiplied by positive 2 is equal to 2x, you're going to change the sign to a negative, I see. You're going to change it to the negative. Tyreek has caught on. Nicely done, guys. All right, let's factorize this cube over here. I know I'm going to open a, um, I'm going to open to a small bracket and a big bracket. But before we even get there, what do we need to do, guys? Our default setting, what do we need to do? Good, we need to take HCF. Good. Um, Zama's asking for number six. May I please ask, how did we get to change the sign number to a positive four? I'm going to show you now. Thank you, teacher Nelly. Just put it perfectly. All right. Remember, Zama, at the end over here, we're actually doing this. We're going negative two squared, right? And over here at the front, we're doing x squared. Okay. So negative two squared will give us positive four. All right. Good. So my, my HCF over here, guys, is 16. So I need to take 16 out. If I take 16 out, I'm going to have y cubed plus 27 left. And then I can then factorize that. So I'm going to have a 16 on the outside, open a small bracket, open a big bracket. Right. Over here, I'm going to take the cube root of y, y cubed, which is y, and the cube root of 27, which is positive 3. Right. And then we can start y squared will give us y squared. Good. And then 3 squared will be 9 plus 9. Right. And then for the middle number, guys, we're going to go y times 3, which will give me 3y. But I need to then change the sign from a positive sign to a negative sign. So now in the middle, I'm going to have minus three y. Give me a thumbs up if you got that one correct. I think that one was pretty simple. Remember guys, default setting. 
Default setting, everyone. You must always, always, always make sure that you're looking for an HCF first. Uh, Gift says, ma'am, swapping them won't make a difference. What do you mean like swapping them won't make a difference? Like if I don't change the sign, is that what you mean? Because if I don't change the sign, it's going to make a big difference. I can tell you that. Because if you multiply back out, yeah, it's not going to work. All right. All right. Here is your homework, everyone. Factorize fully. You can take a screenshot. 